You voted for student loan forgiveness, but you got $7 eggs in World War III. Look what $1 will buy. That's just a plain and simple truth there. You can't even pay the sales tax for a dollar. 2500 BC. Genesis 47. Slaves owned by Pharaoh were required to pay him 20% of their income. 2024. The median U.S. taxpayer pays 24.8% income tax along with 7.65% FICA taxes. On his taxed income, he then pays sales tax, property tax, gas tax, and many other taxes and fees. Yes, most of the slaves in Egypt were far better off than we are today. And yet most people still believe that we're free. Me, after posting a few controversial memes on social media daily and nothing else. It ain't much, but it's honest work. The dangerous rise of men who won't date woke women. Danger's my middle name. The first rule of 2024. We don't talk about 2023. Don't worry. 2024 is going to have plenty of its own. Please help. I'm struggling to afford groceries. You obviously fail to understand what a good investment $100 billion for Ukraine, Israel, and the other 150 countries that the U.S. government sends your money to. When you lie on the application, but still get the job. Missouri officials refuse to work with the ATF, saying all federal so-called lead dispenser laws are unconstitutional. I don't trust any government, state, local, whatever. But I will say that the state government here in Missouri has seemingly been doing things to actually help the Missouri state citizens here. Designed by a PhD, 1975. Built by illiterates, 1500. And you know what they call a quarter pounder with cheese in Paris? France and all of human history. I will conquer you and rule your descendants for generations. France today. I surrender. That's offensive. Please don't hurt me. Son, one day you will be a man. Dad, I'm 30. Yes. But you still trust the government. Send an entire Waffle House staff to Ukraine and the war would be over by next week. There is some pretty crazy Waffle House videos on here. There's no way I could work there because I'd literally be kicking people out the door. Hiker lost for 24 hours, ignored calls from rescuers because of an unknown number. Well, I can't completely blame him. It's usually just telemarketers. If I don't know a number, I don't answer it. If it's important enough, then they'll leave me a voicemail. Take life one step at a time. The steps. Pretty much. Man struggling to feed his family, just happy he can fund two wars with his taxes. Well, if you understand what the U.S. has done to Yemen, it's actually three wars, and it's probably going to be a whole lot more. Participation medals really did ruin society. Well, those aren't participation medals, though. That was just their social credit scores. Aliens versus Predator. I like mac and cheese because it can be a side or a meal, depending on how depressed you are. Don't get me wrong, I like a good mac and cheese. However, who eats mac and cheese because they're depressed? I mean, out of all the foods, you know, you're gonna go to mac and cheese, really? Even if you were really, really late, for wherever you were going, when you just have to wait and see what happens when he drives off. I seriously doubt he'll be driving anywhere. Although I have seen one worse than this. It was someone in an even smaller car that had Home Depot load an entire stack of plywood on top of their car. And on top of that, they had 600 pounds in concrete bags in the back floorboard and seat. It actually caused the rear struts and springs to bust right through the floorboard. Just a reminder that obesity unalives way more people than lead dispenser violence, but there's still no march to end it, which ironically would very literally help end it. Now yeah, that is very true. Most of us probably need to work on that, myself included. How white leftists see themselves after complaining about white people online. 
When your car is a piece of junk, but you don't have any payments. Yeah, I got an 86 pickup. And as long as I can keep it running, that's what I'll keep driving. When you have to defend yourself, but you live in New York City. Literally. I mean, this is, this is literally true. In nature, poisonous creatures will often develop bright colors to warn others of their toxicity. Them. You need to try this eco-friendly bug steak. Me. A special thank you to... Yep, exactly. These and a lot of other jobs. The thing is, they're creating a society in these younger generations to all hate men. But yet, they don't want to do all the jobs and other things that men do, but they still want all the things that men provide. When Olive Garden doesn't get my order right, I will be speaking with Italy this morning. John Connor watching y'all make friends with AI. That's pretty much true, guys. Right this way for your free healthcare. The Canadian system is wonderful. And that's the truth. Go look up videos from people that's in Canada talking about how poor the care is. I'm Howard Cozell, and I just looked into the future, and you're not going to believe the <laughs> I'm about to tell you. This is pretty bad. When you lied on your resume, but got the job you're not qualified for. And the worst part is, this is three different women cops. How are they even allowed to sit behind a desk, let alone being out on the streets? 2024, I'm not going to hurt you. Me. Don't claim you're a second A advocate if you don't know what this is. That's actually kind of funny. People who watch Fox because CNN is propaganda. People who watch CNN because Fox is propaganda. People who don't watch the news because it's all propaganda. Levels of white anger ranked. Son of a... Alright, bucko. Hey, you just hold your horses. Well now, wait just a minute. Newsflash, pal. Who knows what the last one is? My favorite part about health insurance is how your teeth and eyeballs are add-ons. I can speak from experience. All insurance is just a scam. It's just a big pyramid scheme. Canadian government is forced to deny a bizarre rumor that Fidel Castro is Justin Trudeau's real father. They can deny it all they want, but... You go look at some of the other photos. Study. Humans contributing to global warming by breathing. Most people laugh about things like this when they hear it. The problem is, they are point blank serious. If people would really understand what they're saying. U.S. government. The general population isn't responsible enough to freely own these. Also the U.S. government. The U.S. military is still missing six nuclear weapons that were lost decades ago. And that's just the ones that they admit, let alone the multitudes of all the other things. My brain can't decide between these two. The world is ending. The world is ending. I vote for the second one. I refuse to be lectured to about lead dispensers by a government that loses F-35 fighter jets. This is the approved food pyramid for the slaves. If time continues on long enough, they'd make sure you wouldn't have anything else. How to prevent the next and a whole lot more. What hurts worse, walking straight into this, or stepping barefoot on these? Trailer hitch, hands down. Yeah, this is just a stupid post, but at the same time, I really don't care for either one of them. Not just one stupid person, but two stupid persons. This guy thinks it's cool to kill defenseless animals, then take a selfie, jerk. So barbaric that this should still be allowed. No conservation laws in effect wherever this is? This is just another good example of why people like this will follow and do whatever the government and the media tells them to. This rat wants to spread disease and take over your home. 
The other one is simply eating cheese. That's derogatory to rats everywhere. Biden and the Pentagon can declare war on climate change. The first crossword was published in the U.S. in 1913. The puzzle has since spread across the globe, but the American crossword today doesn't always reflect the multiculturalism that immigration brings. Are they going to put it in 27 different languages or what? Income taxes are the fine one pays for the crime of being useful and productive. This is, and I'm not joking, an 1882 U.S. patent for a mousetrap, and it's the most American thing I think I've ever seen. You can be as polite as you want. The state will still unalive you if you get in the way. You idiot. You can't threaten me with that. Lead dispensers are banned. They'll spend trillions on bills they haven't read, but want details on how you spend $600. How bad is your neighborhood? Me. Feminist usually. Feminist when there is a military draft. This is true. I've already seen videos of some of them point blank stating this. There was one video in particular that I saw that she said she'll be back working in the kitchen. What a beautiful day. When are you going to get... What a beautiful day, when someone asks why we cannot trust what the government is saying. Ah, oh, you're just getting started. We are restricting freedom, but we're doing it for the common good. Never be afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Pineapples does go on pizza. No, it does not. And neither does kiwi or pickles. What's wrong with people these days? Wall Street Journal. The U.S. should show it can win a nuclear war. Yes, this is a real article. This system is destroying the younger generations. This is the fastest a year ever yeared. 2024, hold my beer. You think that was bad? We're almost to the end of January. That'll be one twelfth of the year over already. If you ever feel useless, just remember the U.S. took four presidents, thousands of lives, trillions of dollars, and 20 years to replace the Taliban with the Taliban. Most people today think this is due to incompetence, stupidity, whatever. But the fact is, it's all by scripted design. None of this happened by accident. Also, fun fact. All the billions and billions of dollars of weapons that the U.S. left over there is now being used in the wars in the Middle East and Ukraine. Remember when we cried as kids and our parents said, I'll give you something to cry about, and we thought they were going to hit us? But instead, they destroyed the housing market, raised the taxes, and flooded our countries with illegal immigrants. Okay, first and foremost... Your parents didn't do any of that. All the governments have. With that said, there has always been groups that were willing to be the puppets for the higher ups. However, the worst generation for that is the one right now. As there's more people right now demanding the government take their own rights and destroy the country than there ever has been before. And that goes for all the Western nations which all just happened to be doing the exact same thing all simultaneously. I wonder why that is. Man survives a Kodiak bear attack with just a 22. The friend he shot in the knee was not as lucky. Toxic masculinity. True masculinity. Point of view. It's the last day at school before winter break in the early 2000s. Nostalgia is inherently fascist coded. Stupidity of this generation. What everyone dreams of having. What I dream of having. Yeah, it would be. That's a dog. That's a turkey. And that's the truth. What would you say you do here? I told you, I convince people to be so we have to arrest. What the hell is wrong with you people? 
It's not just that I care about my right to own a lead dispenser and protect my family. It's also that I question your motives for trying to stop me from being able to do so. In most places these days, it is literally a crime to defend yourself, your family, and your home. Who wants to stop climate change? Who wants to give up their private jet? It's all a joke, guys. But they're the only ones laughing. These dogs ruled the 90s. That's insulting to good dogs everywhere. Highly trained sharpshooters and secret nighttime missions. Meet the U.S. government's clandestine campaign against local deer. And yeah, this is not a joke. Just like the rest of the food supply. Forget right and left for a moment. The real battle is between people who want to be left alone and those who refuse to leave other people alone. Always has been, always will be. The legend foretold about this gathering. Target shoppers walking into Walmart for the first time. Have you guys seen this one? She walked into some person's apartment and her jaw about hit the floor because she didn't know us little peons have to live this way. World War III is about to begin. Pick your fighter. Things like this is why the U.S. has become the laughing stock of the world. The guy at Whole Foods telling me how great a vegan diet is. The two books modern society hates. And that is the point blank truth. Anyone explaining why their favorite politics man is better. Me only hearing clown music in my head. I've tried to tell people for a lot of years that they're all just actors on a stage playing their role. We're in a civil cold war with the Bill of Rights on the line, so wake up. I know there's a lot of people today that's all for the Constitution and everything. There's nothing wrong with that in theory. However, and this is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, if the Constitution actually meant anything, this nation wouldn't be where it has been for a very long time, let alone where it is today. You've stolen my dreams and my childhood. Get in that coal ball for your electric cars as fast as I can, Greta. Don't worry, when it gets too cold, they won't even charge, let alone drive anywhere. They admit it's really hard to solve crime that they didn't make up themselves. The Babylon B, but it's true. People think I go out of my way to piss them off, but it's not out of my way at all. The most dangerous religion on earth is worshiping celebrities. Yep, it's true. Oreo built a doomsday vault in Norway to preserve cookies for future generations. Cookie! Um, nom, 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 nom. If this video brought you a smile, please share it with someone else. Check out my other videos here on the channel, stored in Acorn Stash. I thank you all for watching, everyone stay safe, and I hope this video has brightened up your day. Until next time, this is Acorn, signing off.